What is the biggest secret you've ever kept from your family? I secretly went backpacking in Europe for four weeks. Due to the eight-hour time difference, when mum called, it would be the middle of the night for me, I would pretend to be as awake as I could while taking the call. Fun times. I gave $10,000 to a woman overseas I met online so she could leave Egypt and study in Germany, despite being pretty broke at the time. She did actually go study in Germany and I met her there. A few years later she paid me back. And yes there was a bit of romance at one point long after the loan but it didn't last long. I should also mention we are the same age. We're still close. When I was a kid I dropped the rake while working in the yard and the handle landed in dog poop. Instead of cleaning it off I used duct tape to seal off the poop from the outside world. It ended up being used for almost 10 years after that and I always thought about that rake's dirty secret. The secret was poop. My dad's brother adopted me. They didn't know I found my biological mom. I didn't talk to her though. My grandfather used to force me to French kiss him when no one was in the room. When he got super old, I was tasked with watching him one night. He peed his pants and was pathetically asking me to help him. But the eight-year-old inside me just let him sit there for hours until my parents got home. Spitting on his face before they closed the casket was the best thing I've ever done for myself. See how you like my saliva all over your face, you piece of shit. My alcoholism. I'm 600 days sober. Edit I should clarify. My wife knows, and she's been my rock and my biggest supporter through the whole thing. But my wife and my therapist are the only people who know. My mom and brother have no idea. Edit edit if you're looking to stop drinking or have trouble doing so, go to our stop drinking. Those fine folks have talked me out of relapsing many times. I lost one of my mom's pearl earrings that she wore on her wedding day. Down the drain when I was like eight years old. Haven't told her to this sure sure thinks she misplaced it. I was sad from 1116 by my cousin and I reported at 17. No one believed me. Half even blame me. Even my father has a familiar relationship with the guy. That I was addicted to fentanyl for almost a year and then beat that addiction all on my own I just passed one year off of it and I haven't considered going back once. My drug addiction to opioids between my 15 and 18. I went to hospital for a chronic disease and they gave me that, I fell into and could ask for medical prescription anytime so I took these for three years and stopped with a big craving effect for weeks. This is hard, but just how frustrated I am with them. They wouldn't have any clue just how angry I am at them for the things they did to me as a child and how much I blame them for my insecurities and lack of confidence as an adult. And that we might seem okay every time I visit with them, but how I just want to yell at them and ask them why, why they had to be so hard on me and couldn't just accept me for what I was when I was a teenager. My cousin molested me when I was six. He went on to groom a girl from ages 12-15. Apparently there were others. He went to prison. I had no home or place to stay when I was 19 21 years old. I slept in phone booths, sometimes at a friend's house. Everything turned out all right once I got a girlfriend, moved into her her mom's house, started a career in programming. Not many people actually know this. I have no idea who I am. Like physically or mentally. My family thinks I'm a strong-willed guy who loves certain things. But it isn't like that at all. I'm nothing like that and I don't feel like I know myself who I am. It's like I'm an actor in multiple plays and have a certain different character for each individual interaction and situation. To be honest, I don't even know what my real personality is like. Edit thank you all for the kind comments and help, I really appreciate this not to worry this isn't that bad, I'm fine. Just wanted to share this feeling experience. Just how stressed out, depressed, and lonely I am. That I have depression or had, IDK I handle it a lot better now but always scary to let the guard down and did two years of therapy as soon as I could afford it on my own. 
My mom is kind of against therapy and doesn't believe in depression too much and I don't want to let her down. Also I don't want them to worry about me ever. That I was sexually abused by a neighbor when I was around six. I once almost a decade ago wrote a suicide note with all my passwords, last requests, and stuff to my best friend and decided to check out for good. But then I sat with that note for hours, thinking how sad my parents and friend would be. He is an only child like me and we grew up like brothers from another mother. Just the thought of betraying him and leaving him alone hurt me more than anything. I still tell my parents, I wouldn't be this successful if it weren't for him. They have no clue about the depth of that statement. I owe my life to my best friend. That the reason I stress over my grades rights now is so that I have good enough grades to go to an abroad university on a scholarship and live my life there. It's not because I want to make my family proud or something, nope. Just want to live. I had a bilateral salpingectomy. Most of my very Catholic, children are blessings you should have ate family knows I was never into the idea of raising kids and or being pregnant, but figured I'd change my mind. I got it done very young, and they think it was something with my ovary true, a cyst ruptured, so I electively overkilled the whole problem, not that it was a fairly elective sterilization as a result. Now I just let them think that I wasn't blessed with children easier than the alternative. Nice try mom. I once tried to kill a family member because they broke my Barbie doll when I was five and added a few sleeping pills in their tea. I never told them about being molested as a kid. I had a miscarriage two years ago. It was a really dark time and I was in a lot of pain. Just my best friend knew at the time. My boyfriend had broke up with me a week before and I went in for an STD check. Began bleeding right before going in. HCG levels indicated pregnancy. Since it was less than six weeks there were no complications and it was an easy exit. I was raised by a single dad and only really have him and my aunt in my life. Neither no. I almost lost vision in my right eye. I didn't want to stress scare my mom so I kept it to myself until it was all said and done. Thanks to the doctor, I'm fine now, so no one will ever know. A. Topical. My retinas are both detaching and the earliest I can get an emergency specialist visit is next Wednesday. Also fun fact, they can take a year to fully detach or it can happen in a few days leading to blindness. Not telling anyone in the fam this is happening until I'm either fixed or fully gone because they'll tell my mom who will just make anxiety noises. Which just makes everything worse because then I have to comfort her. My family thinks I'm still studying. I haven't told them that I've basically dropped out because of my sleep problems. Right now I do nothing but write, do comedy, paint and drink beer. They think I'm gonna have a degree in about a month and a half, so that's gonna be a fun talk. I know that an older relative was bad touched by a community member as a child. I was the only one who knew. The relative took that to their grave. All right, so I gotta admit, I swiped some cash from our safe. I feel super guilty about it, but I just can't bring myself to come clean. I have no clue how they're gonna react. That my mate I tipped to the ER with a fractured eye socket, broken jaw, shattered wrist, snapped collarbones collarbones and a dislocated shoulder didn't drunkenly fall down three flights of stairs at his party was really a reaction to seeing him attempting to essay a chick I was close to little sister close. Nobody knows I am adopted. That I really don't like or love most of them. Respect things they did for me but also remember the shitty things they did to me. Guess it'll be shocking to them when I just part ways with them for good. My mom got me an internship at her work when I was 16 years old. I one of her co-worker. She was not that great looking I was just a super horny teenager. I will take this secret in the tomb.